Galantman's plan revolved around Jessman's or's generics, the ability that enables him to temporarily rewrite his own data and perform actions that transcend the laws of nature, leaving his physical abilities unbound by the laws of the digital world. The fact that this technique could deal damage to a Gudeman X would trigger an error in a Gudeman X's digicore and halt execution of its immortality program, a program included in the data of the digital world god, Yggdrasil, which prevents it from being damaged. But, when Jasmin X was on the verge of activating this skill, a flying Diablomon X, cop is sent by a Gudeman X whose body was incarnated by Lucerman X, interfered with their plan, launching a deadly attack to Jasmine's master, Gankuman X. In their first encounter, Lucerman X tried to gently talk to Jasmine, as they both share the same wish to put an end to fights among Digimon. However, Jasmine realized that, although he wanted the same as Lucerman X, the path towards their goal was different. Jessman would never agree to spill the blood of a friend in order to create the so-called perfect world. As Lucerman was planning on erasing the current world and creating a new one, removing Digimon's fighting spirit, which is embedded in every Digimon's core. This petition was turned down by the god of the digital world. Even though Yggdrasil, as a god, could easily do it. That's why, Lucerman X rebelled, and, as a result, was sent to the Dark Area, as a Demon Lord, which by the way, didn't make him change his mind, he kept wishing for peace, and, equality, for all. Thanks to Lucerman X, Jessman opened his eyes to his own moral, instead of only following the values advocated by his master, which was the desire to help someone else. Gankuman was convinced that Jessman was meant to do something bigger than that. What Jessman wanted was to end the pointless battles, born from the selfish desire of someone. Battles are another way to solve conflicts. There's no need to end all these battles, through which Digimon evolve. Jessman X received the fatal blow in his master's stead. He died, but saved his master, he didn't regret it. However, Gankuman X wasn't going to accept it so easily, not now that Jessman found what Gankuman had insisted on so many times before. Jessman was now an adult, a graduate student. That's why, Gankuman X handed its X antibody to Jessman X, who was going to have two X antibodies inside his body. Negative side effects should not appear, as Jessman's first X antibody came from the same body as the one he was going to absorb now. Both were created in Gankuman's body. As the fusion started, Jessman X's hand began to melt, and he evolved into Jessman GX, Generics, the uncontrolled, as someone named him, after witnessing his transformation. Jessman GX didn't even try to parry the incoming Agudaman X's deadly blow. The new Jessman couldn't be touched, it was thanks to the Ors Generics. Jessman GX was not restrained by any law of the world. Jessman GX's light healed all wounded Digimon, including the eight defeated Royal Knights, as only Jessman X, Gankuman X and Galantman X were standing. But now, all Digimon fight together, common Digimon, the humans Kota and Yuji, the partners of Alphaman and Oriuman, respectively. Dark Area Digimon that, thanks to Jessman GX, realized they also aimed for the same goal as Lucerman X, but could never agree with the method, and last but not least, the Royal Knights, who cut five of the six arms of a Gudeman X, however, to prevent the sixth arm from being cut, the Diablomon X put up a wall right in front of Jessman GX, but he didn't stop, he believed in his friends, and they lived up to that trust. Gankuman and Galantman X, crush that final obstacle, letting Jessman GX, finally meet a Gudeman X face to face. The power of Ors Generics, which was spread among the other Digimon, came back into the hands of Jessman GX. His shining wings turned into a blade bigger than the massive body of a Gudeman X, and the Knight's Intruder, an ever before seen gold glittering ultimate battle blade, manifested itself. Jessman GX aimed for a Gudeman X's head. Light vs Dark, Hope vs Disappointment. Who will win? This battle will bring a new tomorrow, not only for us, but also for you. Light covered everywhere. Jessman GX's blade split a Gudeman X asunder, and it turned to dust in no time. 
The dark area gate closed along with a light that disappeared into the dark area. Jessman GX felt his power fading away due to the great effort exerted in the final blow. The only thing left was a digi egg, which Gankuman picked up and handed to Jessman X. We did it. Oh, yes, master. Don't call me that again, you're not a pupil anymore. All Royal Knights got a message from Egdrissel, asking them to reunify both old and new digital worlds. Let's hope it doesn't lead to another lack of capacity crisis. The humans are, precisely, those in charge of this matter, so it is unlikely to happen again, they're reliable. That's what they've been doing. Jessman X decided that he was going to embark on a trip around the digital world, now that he had experienced what it is like to be a full-fledged royal knight. If my master is going to resign the seat as a member of the royal knights, I will have to find a substitute. Then you'll do the same as I did when I was a master. Yeah, but I won't imitate you this time. I'll follow my heart. Are you sure about what you're doing? There may be really disgusting things along the way. It'll be okay, I'll do my best. Then, Royal Knight, go with your head held high. And Jasmin X left, holding the digi egg in his arms, he was going to raise it as a part of his training. And who knows, maybe that Digimon will become the next Royal Knight. Jessman X lifted flight into the blue sky and left without looking back. Alone, without his master, and feeling as though his back, the place where Gankuman patted him, was burning.